Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with the Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide, and we are on June 22nd, 2021. And welcome to another surviving day on the planet. And welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at earthquakes, volcanoes, world weather, and of course, space weather. Starting out here looking at the sun for the last 48 hours, 304 angstroms. Still observing cresting sunspot. Lots of plasma associated with it. Looking at the incoming images here. And as well outgoing, that sunspot has remained inactive. So we are not experiencing any space weather right now. Just having a closer look at the cresting activity. And multi-spectrum here. Our sun just seems to be not really creating too much right now. Going through another small lull. Earth-facing coronal hole trying to develop their equatorial region. And as well, top right here, we do have plasma rope stretched across the sun, creating that sphere-like visual on the surface of the sun. Having a look at a real-time solar wind, we're pretty slow at about 355 kilometers per second. Density remains low as well, 6. We are expecting some space weather soon, but not right now. We, geomagnetic activity remains low. Schumann resonance for today, healthy, or I don't know if it's healthy, but a pretty dramatic spike looking at an amplitude of 69, quality of 12.2. Having a look at earthquakes, the last 24 hours across the globe, and this is through Walton Earthquake 3D. It's an app you can download. We're going to start out here with the largest earthquake of the day, a 5.3 South America in Salamanca, Chile, at a 770-kilometer depth. As well, a 4.2 here, 257 kilometer depth, Argentina. And as well, a 4.1 there, Chile. Very active Dominican Republic today, 4.0 reported. As well, 3.7, ranging down to 2.5. But many earthquakes today, as well, 3.6 there, Virgin Islands. Central America is a hop in today. Mexico, 5.0 this morning, 105 kilometer depth. And as well, 4.8 there. El Salvador, 57 kilometer depth. Costa Rica, 4.5. And as well, Mexico, a 4.8. So active Cocos Plate into the Caribbean Plate. Quiet across the North American Plate. 1, 3.1 to report in Texas. As well, Livermore, 2.8. California, 3.2 there. Oregon. And as well, Clayton, Idaho, 3.0. And a 3.2 here in Skokomish, Washington. But pretty quiet. No major earthquake events to talk about across the United States today. No major swarms. No notable real earthquakes. Micro swarms continue through the geysers. And as well around Lake Tahoe. surrounding Lake Tahoe. Nothing major, just small earthquakes. And we are sitting at 300 earthquakes the last 24 hours, and this is including all magnitudes across the United States. Looking at Alaska right now, largest earthquake to report today, 3.7. And as well, northward there, 3.4 to Kaktovik, Alaska. Eurasian plate here, 4.4 in northeastern China, and as well a 4.6 here to report Tawang, India. Very quiet through the Philippines plate today. Only reporting 4.9 there, Indonesia, and Ternate, and as well a 4.0, 4.0, Dampu, Indonesia. And then our deepest earthquake today, 534 kilometer depth, a 4.6, and as well 4.9 there, Kermadec Islands.
So quiet, eerily quiet through there. 4.2 here to report. Same area yesterday as the 5.3 AGNC. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Have a quick buzz here at the last seven days as we're still seeing increased fours throughout the week and as well deep earthquakes through Tonga, New Zealand. There's been many this week. So stay aware and prepare. Just have a plan, everybody. No fear here. It's all about staying aware and prepared. Quiet planet right now. 300 earthquakes the last 24 hours. And no major earthquakes to report since the 6.3 the other day. Now having a look here at satellite imagery, looking for some interesting hot spots, of course, through Arizona, watching those spot hot spots continue through the Gila fire. But you can see there are one, two, three areas there that are lighting up. We've got at least three or four active fires through Arizona. And as well, there are many being reported through Cali um, Montana, California, and as well, British Columbia. Let's have a quick look at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated. We've got Reventador in Ecuador. Many fires here. Holy smokes. Nevados de Chilean. Uh, Dokono, Indonesia. Swiss de Najima, Japan. Manam, Papua New Guinea, has awakened. As, after going quiet for a bit, Sabancaya in Peru. Sangay in Ecuador. Fuego, Guatemala. Etna in Italy. And yeah, we are inundated with fires and floods and storms on the Pacific Disaster Center right now. And Pacific Disaster Center doesn't report all the fires here. There are fires in Montana. There's Inyo County as well. The southwestern drought that is continuing. Winslow, Arizona fires. That's new. And as well, Pinal and Gila. Eagle County fires in Colorado. New fire there. And as well, Utah. So stay tuned to your local radio and TV networks. I'm sure they're going to be giving you the warnings as they come out. And there is fire here still continuing through BC. No major storms to talk about as Tropical Storm Claudette has fizzled out and won't be hitting Newfoundland as forecasted. We do have one tropical storm here, which looks like in the long range, it'll be heading straight towards Japan. And then the continuing storms here through Tasmania, flood conditions, and as well New Zealand now as that storm has swept across New Zealand after raking across Australia. Let's have a look at the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteorth and as well Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide starting out here at Calgary, Alberta. And as it was super hot today, beautiful summer's day, and we might have a little bit of a relief coming tomorrow or maybe thursday looking here the forecast you can see rain moving in for wednesday to thursday but more south it looks like calgary will get some though big low pressure system in the hudson bay as well watch for this alberta clipper to sweep eastward to bring some pretty intense and extreme weather towards parts of ontario long line of moisture here from the low pressure system in the Hudson Bay. And then you've got the multiple vortices, vortexes that have been forming, which I noted. So here we are, Ontario, looking at a long weekend of extreme weather. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you will have some intense weather ahead of you. Looking through the Gulf, no major storm developments in the next five days. Looking in the Pacific Ocean, East Pacific here, we do have a tropical depression forming, and it looks like it's going to be a strong one off the coast of Mexico. Overlooking South America. Watching this area of interest here for long range could have a tropical development in the Bahamas. 
overlooking South America, still have that storm that will be forming towards southern Argentina. Other than that, that's the only major system to talk about. But as well, these cold temperatures that are going to be coming down into Argentina. And look how far they're stretching all the way up to Peru. Northern parts of Chile will be receiving snow. Watch for extreme weather there. Argentina, Buenos Aires, Brazil border. Overlooking Africa. Looking at a low pressure center there. The Congo region developing. And as well, cold temperatures coming to parts of South Africa here, looking in high mountainous regions of a minus five. That's right, minus six, actually. So stay warm down in South Africa, I guess. And then off the coast of North Africa here, we do have a tropical depression that will be forming, and it looks like it's going to be a strong one. So long-range forecast, we're going to be keeping an eye on that. The Atlantic is really starting to ramp up especially with all those vortexes that just created across the Northern Hemisphere. And we've seen tornadoes in strange places already. Quebec, Montreal, overlooking Europe right now. No major weather systems affecting you this week. Still watching that convergence line. Thunderstorm conditions through Central Europe. Overlooking Southeast Asia, Russia, India. Low pressure center looks like it's finally going to leave India. And then watch here as the long range. You can see Tropical Cyclone 6 racing into another low pressure system that came out of China. And they're going to join forces right over Japan. So heads up J Japan. Overlooking Indonesia, Malaysia. Monsoon rains continue and they are going to get heavier with the long range forecast. You see those large waves of moisture being pumped eastward. Australia, watch for the rain to finally move out by uh, Sunday. So yeah, pretty much all week, moisture is going to be hanging around. And then as well, watch for cool temperatures to be brought about here, right up the coastline, just below freezing. That looks to be just, just west of Sydney, Australia. So... Heads up, my Aussie friends. Cool temperatures on their way. Overlooking the Pacific, still have that large low pressure center spinning around and around up into the Alaskan Peninsula and back around again. Long range could have a little system here developing. Maybe bring moisture to the BC border. I'm going to leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern, pointing out the major player in the Southern Hemisphere, and as well, the interesting and wonky jet streams that we're currently experiencing. Much love to everybody, and I thank you for watching today. I hope you all had an amazing day, and enjoy your evening. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your morning due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.